My name is Hannah and I'm from Kirkland, Washington. I was delivered from many things. I was delivered from unclean spirits, uh, from yoga, generational curses, uh, my own sin, uh, abortion, and um, just wanted to share kind of what has led to uh, this discovery of deliverance and and my freedom by the grace of God. My family, my mom and my dad are the first generation Christian. Um, and so I'm second generation and uh, I come from a line or they come from the line of, of Taoism, Buddhism. Um, and my mom, she used to go to fortune tellers uh, frequently uh, in her side of the family, they were Buddhists, and so they would go to the Buddhist temple. Discovered Hungry Generation back in 2019 through Pastor Vlad, uh, his sermons, and I just started learning more and more about um, the unseen, uh, the spiritual warfare. Uh, I had, and before my deliverances, I had anxiety attacks. And they felt like heart attacks, and I ended up going to the emergency room actually twice thinking that I either had a heart attack or that I um, there was something terribly wrong. I would get sleep paralysis. And I think I just attributed it that to, you know, we've kind of normalized it. Like, oh, everybody has moments of anxiety, but they're pretty severe. Um, the first um, deliverance, I guess, if you will, was back in April with Hungry Jen uh, at the um, deliverance conference in Federal Way. Dr. Vlad was um, praying and he came down the line when I was meeting my family and he put his hand on me and I instantly fell to the ground. And I had such immense pain um, and it was excruciating and I was terrified because I had no idea what was going on. Um, my, um, it was actually contraction pain. So I birthed both my children uh, naturally so I know what contraction pains are. They're pretty excruciating. Pastor Zach and uh, Michelle were praying for me. And Michelle looked at me and she gave me a word of knowledge. And in that time, she said to me, Hannah, have you had an abortion? Looked into my eyes. And it wasn't Michelle, it was Jesus looking into my eyes and him flooding me with his love. So for me, I didn't realize that I hadn't forgiven myself. And God wanted every part of me and he wants um, he wanted me to be fully whole. He wanted to heal me, and he wanted to uh, he wanted me to invite him into that place. And so, you know, when I said yes, instantly my pain was gone, and it was immediately it was gone, and I just felt the flood, and the flood of his love. And so, I actually didn't have children for about six years um, because I had deceived. I was deceived, and I said, oh, you know, we need to. Um, have a better marriage, we need to have a better friendship. Um, and uh, it, it was really just like the fear and, and so forth. But, you know, by the grace of God, I have two beautiful children and my husband. So I was baptized in the Holy Spirit three years ago and I lost my sort of zeal and my desire to practice yoga, which is very unlike me. I uh, have been practicing yoga for, gosh, uh, been teaching for 10 years and then some many years before that I think four years or so so maybe 14 years um, I've been practicing and I practice sometimes nearly every day I taught uh, many many classes sometimes up to 16 18 classes a week um, I've been trained in different modalities you know Ashtanga uh, Sattva um, the main one where I went to three months of yoga training in Palm Springs, Vikram Yoga, which is hot yoga. And then about a year ago, I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to throw away all my books. And I have thousands of dollars worth of books and trainings. Um, I have invested lots of time, energy, money, resources. My husband uh, was so supportive of me. Um, it's interesting because in, in prayer, uh, and my husband's Christian as well, uh, we had um, a piece about God using yoga, like that God would use me and use yoga to help people. I just didn't realize it would be in this way. <laughs> I didn't realize it would be exposing the darkness um, with Jesus's light. So I would talk about yoga, about how it would heal, like ask all my friends. My Instagram handle was Hannah Yogi. Like it was a huge part of my identity. And then October, 
uh, when the ministry, Pastor Daniel's ministry, with the supernatural life, um, he had laid hands on me. Um, what manifested was uh, just wild. Like my tongue was sticking out. It was as if somebody was holding my tongue, like pulling it out. And then my arms were flailing like this. Uh, and I didn't have control over my body, you know? And I was like, again, I was taking that back seat so that this, the unclean spirit would manifest itself. So I just completely let go. And because when I manifested this, this demon, Kali is actually the demon of death. Um, and, and actually this uh, goddess, it, it's a goddess uh, in India, represents power and destruction uh, and death. Um, and that's what I manifested, not, you know, um, in my deliverances. Um, on the way to the deliverance conference, um, I had a suicidal impulse. So it wasn't that I knew that I was suicidal. There was no, there was no time really um, where I wanted to end my life. I, I have a beautiful family. I have a um, lot to live for. I love the Lord. I love, you know, I... Um, and I do love my life. So, it, but as I was traveling here um, and manifesting, I opened the door um, to a moving car. You know, my my sister was driving. Um, when we got to the deliverance conference, my the manifestation just started getting stronger. So I was waiting in prayer line, and it just started getting stronger. Um, my mouth was twitching and moving everywhere. Um, it was just really hard to just sort of like contain myself. And um, the difference now after going through my deliverance is that I'm able to overcome. I'm able to say, hold my tongue, or I'm able to, and I, I continue to have, it's only grown even like more, like my, my hunger for God has grown even further, like even bigger. Um, I have a more disciplined, I guess, spiritual life. Like I fast. I don't have the anxiety attacks that I had. Um, like I know that the authority that I have. Um, like I know. Um, that's a very. That's a huge difference, I think, than prior to my deliverance is knowing um, who I am and whose I am.